Hello, in this session we will talk about creating many-to-many -many relationship table. This is Hassan Mir from 02protraining.com. Here I'm connected to the virtual desktop. I'm using SAP HANA Studio as a client software to talk to SAP HANA database. We have created a connection with the database. We have created two tables. We have inserted some data. We have looked into select statements with out where clause and with where clause and with where clause containing multiple conditions. In this session we will create a third table and in that table we will insert data from a spreadsheet or CSV file. Although this is not a data modeling session but just for your information if you do not already know a table could represent an entity. I have covered that in the previous session. A table can also represent a relationship many-to-many -many relationship. One-to-many and one-to-one -one relationship could be captured within the existing tables without creating a new one by simply adding an ID column. Let's say we can add a course ID column in a student table and a student ID column in course table to take care of one-to-one -one or one-to-many relationships, but many-to-many -many has to be captured in a separate table. So let's say that is the case with us one student can take multiple courses and one course could be taken by multiple students so we need to create a third table. We can call the third table student course student underscore course and there we can capture which student is taking which courses. Okay so if you take a look at the course table if I right click on course and say open content you can see we have an ID column. These are course IDs not student IDs. Okay, so each course is given an ID and if I right click on the student table and click on open content option, this will give me the contents of a student table and we have ID column here as well. So here is the structure of a student underscore course table. This table has two columns, a student underscore ID and course underscore ID. A student underscore ID column is indicating which student is taking a course and course underscore ID column is indicating which course is being taken. So each record is indicating the fact that this student has taken this course and one student can take multiple courses and one course could be taken by multiple students. So this is how we store one to sorry many to many relationship in a in a table in a relationship table. In relationship tables you only store IDs to get the first name and last name of student 1 I can always go to the student table and to get the name and description of course 1 I can always go to the course table. Okay so let's create a new table right click on tables under my personal schema I can see various object types and tables is one of the object types available so right click on tables and click on new table. Now I'm ready to create a new table. Name of the table is student underscore course. Let's keep the type to column store. So data will be stored by columns, not by rows. And the first column is student underscore ID. Varchar is the data type and maximum size is 3. And click on this plus sign the next column is course underscore ID Varchar is a data type and maximum size is 3. So which column is the primary key in this table? We discussed that one column is usually declared as a primary key and values cannot repeat in that column and that way we guarantee that no two rows will be the same in a relational database. Okay so in this case IDs can repeat in a student column because one student can take multiple courses and IDs can also repeat in, in course column because one course could be taken by multiple students. However, one combination cannot repeat technically, okay? Because if we have indicated that this student is taking this course, then we don't need to indicate that again. So both columns together will make up a composite primary key. So let me mark both of these columns as primary keys. That way, they are treated as a composite primary key. Simply select this key column for both the rows so that you see here X1 and X2. Click on this green button. Create statement would be sent to the database. Create statement creates a table. Here you are simply 
creating a table using this graphic user interface but in reality a create statement is sent to the database you can also create a table directly by writing create statement from scratch but you don't need to do that because you have this interface available so you can see the actual create statement that was sent to the database and it was successfully executed now under tables node you can see the third table student underscore course if you right click on that table and click on open content you can take a look at its structure here's the structure but obviously this doesn't have any data yet